Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Time for another wine review. And it's one of those old school wines, I'm going to call it. Um, Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill Flavored Citrus Wine. And Boone's Farm Blue Hawaiian Flavored Citrus Wine. Now I know over the years this has changed. Because in PA, I tried to buy it once, and I went to a liquor store, but they couldn't sell it no more because it changed the ingredients, and they had to sell it at a beer distributor. For those of you who don't know, in PA, you buy your liquor and wine at a liquor store, and you buy your beer at a bar or a beer distributor. But if you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're taking a look at the Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill and Boone's Farm Blue Hawaiian. Both at $3.69. Uh, alcohol by volume, 7.5. This one they have it right on the front. It's 3.9. Both 750 milliliters. Now when I picked this up the store, I noticed something other than the color. I've never seen a wine this color before, so it should be interesting. They actually had a label on it for your calories. Uh, about two servings per container, half a bottle, is 240 calories. Per container is 500 calories. I'm not real sure how that mouth works because 2 times 240 is 480, but whatever. It's nice to actually see a label like this online. I think more people should do it. And there's 0% juice, which how do you make wine without juice? It's probably why it's blue. This one, no label, and I don't see no mention of the juice. Citrus wine with natural flavors, a refreshing taste of lush, ripe strawberries, vented and bottled by Boone's Winery, Mosquito, Most California. Alcohol 7.5% by volume. Contains sulfates, S-U-L-F-I-T-E-S. -E uh, probably ain't good for you. But I did have this in the fridge for over 24 hours to get it nice and chilled. American Original. Close look. Now it's nice and clear and it has bubbles in it. And for me, I don't think wine should actually have bubbles in it. I think a wine cooler should. Beer should, but wine, not so much. Go ahead, give it a little smell. That has a nice, pleasant aroma to it. It's a nice, sweet strawberry smell. Not too sweet, not too perfumey, just right. That, yeah, that smells real nice. Let's go ahead and give it a little taste. That's actually really good. It has a nice mild strawberry taste to it. It's a nice mild wine. Um, if you're having a, a, a light meal, something not real spicy or anything, like maybe fish, you now you do a, I don't know, like a flounder or something, something mild, not breaded, just baked, it, it pairs real good with that. Also made with a nice cheese and fruit plate with some crackers. Yeah, that's 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 actually really pleasant. Let me go ahead 
wash out my glass, and we'll try the blue Hawaiian. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try the Venus Farm Blue Hawaiian Flavored Citrus Wine. I have a bad feeling about this. Ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citrus wine, natural and artificial flavors, less than 2% citrus acid, blah, 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 a bunch of artificial stuff. Uh, I just don't get how it can have 0% juice when it's online. And it's, it's sounding like pineapple here, an orange, not sure what the other fruit are. But it's not listing none of those ingredients. And why is it blue if it has pineapple and stuff in it? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Go ahead, pour some in the glass. The, the, I gotta be honest, the color kind of reminds me of Windex glass cleaner. Got some bubbles in it. Nice close look at it. Oh man, I just I can't I can't describe the smell. It's it's different. It's yeah. It's not really a pleasant smell. It's not a smell that's overly disgusting. It's just not pleasant. Okay, go ahead, give it a little taste. I can't even... I can't even describe the taste to you. Once again, it's not bad. It's not pleasant. It has kind of like a coconut rum taste to it. With maybe like that blueberry syrup to put on snow cones. with a touch of pina colada. Yeah, it's... I, I would not recommend... It's not horrible. It's not just not a pleasant wine, even at 369. So, looking at this one, for the price at 369, it's not, you know, a spectacular wine, but considering the price, I'm going to give this a 4. This, because it's not horrible, we've had some horrible wines on the show now, but it's not good, it's not, it's not something I'd buy again, but I would, I'd recommend just going out and getting it, just to try it, just to try to figure out the taste on your own, so I'm going to give this one and a half. So, with that said, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, the little channel logo up on the left hand side, and as always, Thank you for watching.